Ignatius487 here, and welcome back to Assassin's Creed. Uh, as you can see on my little map thing, the other informers left. I'm not doing that one. Because I don't care. I just want to get this It's going. the hero of Damas. <coughs> Come in, stay a while. Tell me all about your adventures. I'm afraid I don't have the time. I see. Too important for me now. It's not that. Nope, nope, of course not. Oh. How may I serve you then? Al Muallam has yes. asked I take the life of the one they call Jubayer. Salahadin's chief scholar? Yes. He's turned the other scholars of the city to his cause. Together they intend to work a great evil. How? They're collecting the city's knowledge. All its written works. For what purpose? To destroy them. And where will this be done? <coughs> they move throughout the city. But first they meet at the Madrasa al Qalasa. If I go there, I should find Jubayer. Excellent work as always, al -Tayer. You can stop him before he has a chance to strike again. Grab the feather. With your permission, Rafiq. Of course. You're free to begin whenever you are ready. Bring glory to the Brotherhood, Altair. I'm ready. Right now. Fast forwarding memory to a more recent one. Do 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 There it is. Let's go get him. Fires of war consume the land. You something sorry. Thousands of lives are lost in its defense. It seems a tragedy. Jeez. Yikes. Oh dear. Ah. Uh, all these slow yos, man. I don't like them. They're so not for me. <coughs> Leprosy or something. I don't know. I just went all nutsy. I know there's some way to get up in here. Come on. What? No reason to stand here, leave me. Kidding me. What's this stupid entryway? Every nice. single text in this city must be destroyed. My friend, you must not do this. Much knowledge rests within these parchments, put there by our ancestors for good reason. And what reason is this? They are beacons, meant to guide us, to save us beacons. from the darkness that is ignorance. No, these bits of paper are covered in lies. They poison your minds. And so long as they exist, you cannot hope to see the world the way it truly is. How can you accuse these scrolls of being weapons? They are tools of learning. <laughs> you turn to them for answers and salvation. You rely more upon them than yourself. This makes you weak like and stupid. Books. You trust in words, drops of ink. Do you ever stop to think of who put them there? Or why? No. You simply accept their words without question. And what if those words speak falsely, as they often do? This is dangerous. You are wrong. These texts give the gift All these of books, knowledge. Though, are glued we together. need them. Look at that. You love your precious writings. It's weird. You do anything for them? Yes. Uh, you, you want to burn yes, those? Yes, of course. Then not join really them. He would have flailed a bit. Any more. man who speaks as he is just as much a threat. Do any else among you wish to challenge me? No. Good. 
Your orders are simple enough. Go out into the city, collect any remaining writings and add them to the piles in the streets. When you're done, we'll send a cart to collect them, that they may be destroyed. My watch. See? Again. Stupid. Are you serious? It's forbidden for you to be here. one it is. Very nice. Yes, sir. Sorry, lady. Shazam. Stop, yo. Yeah. 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 
There we go. <laughs> it's just a thing. Let us cleanse this city of its poisoned past. This is a righteous act, and from the flames shall be born a new era, one of truth and unity. This will end badly. Go, go. Yes. Gotcha. Why? Why have you done this? Men must be free to books. do what they believe. It is not our right to punish one for thinking yeah, what they do, together, but no matter how much still. we disagree. Then what? You of all people should know the answer. Educate them. <clears throat> Teach them right from wrong. It must be knowledge that frees them, not force. They do not learn. Fixed in their ways as they are. You are naive to think otherwise. It's an illness. Yeah. For which there is but one cure. You're wrong, and that's why you must be put to rest. Am I not unlike those precious books you seek to save? A source of knowledge with which you disagree, yet you are rather quick to steal my life. A small sacrifice to save many. It is necessary. Is it not ancient scrolls that inspire the Crusaders? That fill Salah ad and his men with a sense of righteous fury? Their texts endanger others, bring death in their wake. I too was making a small sacrifice. It matters little now. Your deed is done, and so am I. Goodbye, fellow. Person. Oh wait, let me get closer to the where I'm supposed to be going. Out of the way, out of the way, out of the way. You're going to run. Yes, I am. That's, that's, that's interesting. Yikes. Oh dear. Well, that's a hassle, isn't it? <laughs> Alright, good. Now that'll get us a little bit closer on it. Gentlemen, thank you for your assistance. He has found his strength. Nope. <laughs> I am. Come on. Ouchy pants. That is very ridiculous. Like, that's painful. Yeah, we know it's closed. Nice counter. Very nice. 
Altair, tell me you've yes. reached success. Yes, Jubayer's fires are extinguished. His life as well. Excellent news. I had no doubt you'd succeed. You should have seen it. The scholars followed him so readily. It wasn't just books they fed to fire either, but any man who opposed them. Such ignorance breeds only evil. You've done crazy a good man. thing this day. Yeah, they're crazy. As with my other targets, he believed he was doing the right thing, clearing a path to a better future. Of course he would. Such is the landscape of a madman's mind. <clears throat> the things I've seen these past few weeks, it's as if all the land has gone mad. And this is why we fight to end the war, that sanity might return. The people are desperate for direction. It's easy for men like Jubayer to prey on this and turn them towards evil. You should go, Altair. Return to Al Mualim. Tell him what you saw. Let him know the good you've done this day. Safety and peace, cool. Rafi. Upon you as well. Fast forwarding memory yeah. to a this more recent be, uh... I should take me out of the animus. Yeah. As I thought. Not a lot of time, Vidic. Understand there's a narrow hole on now. Wherever it's hidden, time to retrieve it. I'm working on it. And when it's done, He'll be taken care of. I want that progress report by tomorrow morning. I've got some work I need to do. So you've got the rest of the night to yourself. Okay. I think there's a problem with the Animus. Nope, it's working fine. I'm pretty sure it just ejected me I'm when I'm pretty it... sure you should shut up. You ready to finally tell me what's going on? We have to stop them, Desmond. When they access that last memory of yours, they're just getting started. They want to change everything. The way we live, the way we think, the way we are. You've gotten the lecture from Vidic about what's wrong with the world, how we need order and discipline, so they're going to give it to us. Only we don't have a say in the matter. How? The Templar treasure. They think it... Miss Stilva? I'm here. I need you to upload Desmond's files to the database. Got it. Hold up. We gotta talk, lady. So what? You're using me to find this Templar treasure? What do they call it? The Peace of Eden? Yes. Well, it's looking like it's at Messiah. So I don't know why they're wasting all this time with me. Why don't they just send their people to pick it up? They can't. It's not that simple. The artifact from Messiah, they had it. It was destroyed in the accident. Then what are they hoping for me, you know, for my ancestor, to tell them? They're hoping he'll show them where the other ones are. You mean there's more than one of these things? Oh, Desmond, you have no idea. Yeah, there's one on, like, every continent. Is there a problem, Mr. No, Warren. Everything's Denver on my end. Then where are the files? I've got to move these files before he gets suspicious. We'll talk more later. Wait, what's that mean, everything's Denver? It means everything's fine. Why Denver? It's a reference to Denver International Airport. There's an underground facility there. It's where the accident happened. Hmm. Oh, 
Okay, so no more talkie, huh? Aren't you tired? Yeah, no more talkie. No more talkie talkie. I am tired. Let's go to sleep. Time's wasting, Mr. Miles. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming. We're nearly done, you know. And then what? <clears throat> You'll see. Maybe they'll even let you watch when it begins. It's not yeah. as terrible as you think. Look, I know you're not gonna let me leave. So why not tell me what's going on? Humor me. I'm not an idiot, Mr. Miles. I think you've already learned quite a bit. I don't know what you're talking about. Of course not. All right, let me ask you something else then. Yes? Some of the stuff I'm seeing in the Animus, sometimes it seems wrong. Untrue, like the history is off somehow. It doesn't... It doesn't what, Mr. Miles? <laughs> Match up with what you read on an online encyclopedia? What your high school history teacher taught you? Let me ask you something. Do these supposed experts have access to secret knowledge kept hidden from the rest of us? There are books. Letters, documents, all sorts of source material from back then. Some of it seems to contradict what the Animus is showing me. Anyone can write a book, and they can put whatever they want on its pages. Anything. <laughs> Used to be we thought the world was flat. Some people still do. Yes, and they publish books about it. Or that the moon landing was a hoax. I believe there's also a book claims the world was created in seven days. A bestseller, too. Where's this going, Doc? The point, I suppose, is that you shouldn't trust everything you hear, everything you read. What's that your ancestors said? Nothing is true. Everything is permitted. Yes, exactly. It's part of what makes the Animus so spectacular. There's no yep. room for misinterpretation. There's always cool. room. Cool. Touché, Mr. Miles. Cool now stuff. Now that I've answered your question, can we begin? Yes. Let me go through the freaking door. Let's get going. <clears throat> Continue. When you're out of knives, refill your stock by returning to Messiah or by pickpocketing thugs. Yeah. I don't, there's one. This this next one is the last Jerusalem hit, and then it's some crazy stuff goes down. I mean, my student, we have much to discuss. Mm-hmm. We are close, Altair. Robert de Sable is now all that stands between us and victory. Victory. It is his mouth gives the orders. His hand pays the gold. With him dies the knowledge of the Templar treasure and any threat it might pose. I still don't understand how a simple bit of treasure could cause so much chaos. The peace of Eden is temptation given form. Merely look at what it's done to Robert. Once he tasted of its power, the thing consumed him. He saw not a dangerous weapon to be this destroyed, corrupts, man. but a tool. One that would help him realize his life's ambition. He dreamed of power then. Yes, and no. He dreamed, still dreams, like us, of peace. But this is a man who sought to see the Holy Land consumed by war. No, Altair. How can you not see when you're the one that opened my eyes to this? What do yes. you mean? What do he and his followers want? A world in which all men are united. I do not despise his goal. I share it. But I take issue with the means. Peace is something right. to be learned, to be understood, to be embraced. <coughs> he would force it. And rob us of our free will in the process. Strange. To think of him in this way. 
Never harbor hate for your victims, Altair. No Such hate. thoughts are poison, and will cloud your judgment. Could he okay. not be convinced, then, to end his mad quest? I spoke to him in my way, through you. What was each killing, if not a message? But he has chosen to I ignore us. Then there's only one thing left to do. Jerusalem is where you faced him first. It's where you'll find him now. Let this final offering lend you strength. Go, Altair. It's time to finish this. <coughs> Okay. Did you get a sword upgrade? Nice. And extra throwing daggers. Nice. Springtime for Hitler and Germany. Da -da 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 -da. I think I did get a sword upgrade. The sword look, looks different. But it's something that I had to purchase. It's just a... It a gift. <laughs> Careful. Take your time. When Just moving slowly, you reduce your time. chances of attracting unwanted attention. I wonder why they show all this organic chemistry stuff. <laughs> I haven't been angry. I've angered all the O's of the Onus. Do 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 do. We are going to aggravate. We are going west. Good. Oh, okay, so straight, essentially. Good deal, good deal. 
Ah! Bollocks. <laughs> that is a lot of soldiers. <laughs> well, look at all them soldiers. Hey guys. Totally forgot. Getting there. That looks like. Okay, so we're gonna climb up here. We gotta find a viewpoint. So that we can begin. Is there Our, a reason really? for him to do that? Oh, yeah. No, no. Oh, I see one. Awesome. Good. Dude. Dude. Nice. Sweet action, Jackson. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Get, get, now. seriously? Get up there. It's forbidden to do it. Uh, there. No. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, basically, what's about to happen is I'm kind of out of time, really. I'm going to go get all the few things. Anyway, I'm gonna get all the all the viewpoints and all the, <coughs> all the other stuff. The freaking what? What am I trying to uh, the save the civilian use? Who saw what happened here? And then yeah, I'll probably also do the. Informants off screen as well, so we'll see what happens. Come on, there we go. So, until next time, Bone Tuna, and we will see you next video.